Hello, people. Oh, this is the creepiest chair ever. It's probably not the best chair for this. Well, well, we've never had the best of anything for anything. But we're back. Thank you to uh, Tolvis, um, something, something numbers um, on YouTube for expressing concern as to whether or not we'd actually murdered each other since case 72 finished. Um, we're still alive. As you can see, just <laughs> still together, still somehow. together, still playing Sherlock Holmes, two twenty one B Baker Street, and won't you join us? We have another exciting case. Um, if you have no idea what's going on, that's on you. Should have watched the other videos by now. We've been through case 70, 71, and seventy two together, playing with you on our team. Won't you join us? <laughs> Yes, join us. <laughs> Are you laughing at my movie magic? Is that what's happening right now? Yes. <laughs> Don't so ruin the smooth. immersion. <laughs> right? Um, I've it's been so long. Um, I, I don't know how many cases we've actually solved and how many we've stuffed up. Did uh, we solve one? We solved one. Okay, we were <laughs> one for three. I I'll say that off camera. Um, we have continued to play this game, not the following case. Um, and we have won games together. So yeah. um, chances are we're going to lose this one. <laughs> <laughs> Get your predictions in. Well, if you're playing on our team, sorry, you're stuck with us. Um, we're going to get to the next case. This is how long it's been. Um, there's been a beard in between now and the last time I saw you and a bunch of cases. <laughs> She still gives me the same look, though. So <laughs> that has get changed. ready for more of that coming your way. We're going to start with case number 73. Are you ready? Nope. No? Are you ready? <laughs> She's got her case notes ready to go, ready to overwrite everything that I say. And today's case, we have Sherlock Holmes and the Sophie Anderson just going to check if I read that right, because it sounds weird, but I read that right. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes and the Sophie Anderson from the Journal of Dr. Watson. Case number 73. Here we go. <laughs> it's too much pressure. It's been too long. The morning of November 14th, 1887 began like many others in the living room of 221B Baker Street. Newspapers and letters, the raw material for many adventures. The Times is a catalogue of turmoil and disaster this morning, I said to Holmes. I said to Holmes as apparent lack of interest. <laughs> and scene. That was where I played the part of someone who doesn't know what they're doing and is not prepared for this evening's event. Now that you've seen my acting skills, I'm going to try that again from the top. With voices. <laughs> With voices, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the voices for my public. Hi, ma. <sighs> the morning of November 14th, 1887 began like many others in the living room of 221B Baker Street. Newspapers and letters, the raw material of many an adventure. The Times is a catalogue of turmoil and disaster this morning, I said to Holmes's apparent lack of interest. Bulgarian crisis, Gladstone in the Irish Land League, Turkish massacres in Macedonia, murder in the French embassy. Mm, the world seems to be tumbling helter-skelter. There'll be an explosion, mark my words. Perhaps, Watson. But why do you evince no interest in the fate of the Sophie Anderson? Was she the one murdered in the embassy? I asked. My dear Watson, the Sophie Anderson is a ship. Dumbass. Ah, uh, listen. Further news has reached London of the mysterious incident concerning the bark Sophie Anderson. Bound out of London. Since its departure two weeks ago, the ship has failed to make any of its scheduled calls in port. 
along the Brittany and Spanish coast. There are now firm fears that the ship has foundered. It was last seen on the afternoon of November 5th by the captain of a Dutch steamer heading south into fog banks. Captain Rassel said yesterday, I hailed the ship before it entered the mist to warn it of the danger. He's Dutch. That's probably not how he sounds. <laughs> well, I am not going to try Dutch. Um, but I got no reply. God, these what are you getting? <laughs> Sorry. That's all I got. It just kept sailing into the blackness. <laughs> No, we haven't got to the case yet. <laughs> then a storm struck us. <coughs> Lloyds of London are today expected officially to list the vessel as lost. I see nothing unusual in that, Holmes. Ships are frequently lost. Surely that is a hazard of the sea. Admittedly so, Watson. But I have in my morning post a request from the owners of the ship. I expect... A visit from Mr. Damien Nako. This may be him on the stairs now. <laughs> We're going full panto the same thing. <laughs> Make up for lost times. Nako proved to be a large man of Greek origin. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do Greek? <laughs> Who had been domiciled in England for many years. He probably picked up a company accent while he was there. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, I beg your assistance. I realise that to ask you to explain the disappearance of a ship is most unusual, if not impossible. It's not the Sophie Anderson so much, although she is a new ship and valuable, but her captain, Constantine Niakos, was an old and loyal friend. It grieves me deeply to think I shall not see him again. We have been through many adventures together. Was Captain Narcus reliable? I inquired. Utterly. Only his family came before the company. In that case, Watson, we may do as well to visit the missing captain's house, said Holmes briskly. It will be an interesting mental exercise to solve a mystery which occurred so remotely and discover a... Why, why the Sophie Anderson did not make her scheduled calls. B, where she was heading. And C, what has happened to her. Mm -hmm. The game's afoot. All right, so we've got a missing ship. Not even in... London. Not even in London. Didn't make it to Brittany, Spain. God knows where it was going. So the first thing we had to figure out is where it was going, apparently. Um, and as I look, as astute viewers and players of the game will know, a lot of nautical places to visit on this map that we have five clues to solve if we're going to be master detectives. So the docks. The docks might be right up there, I'm guessing, I'm um. guessing. The other, only other thing, um, Lloyds of London, it's insurance, so the bank. Bank, yes, Lloyds. Um, that's about it. That's what you got, that's what you got. Okay. So, let's start with the docks. Boar's Head's also probably full of sailors, eh? Maybe. Up. All right. Yeah. We've got yeah. our top three, and we're going to go from there. So, are you with us? Do you agree? Let's go to the docks first. Yep. Yeah, right. I agree too. Let's go over to the docks and I'll reach because, yeah, thank you, honey. Yeah, thanks for your didn't sentence. stretch before this. No, we did not. All right. The docks is eight, nine, seven. Is it, though? Shush. He's messed up a couple times since we have Recently, left. too. It's not even <laughs> an old thing. I'm going to double check now. You may be so nervous. Eight, nine, seven, I said. Eight, nine, seven. And here we are at eight, nine, seven. Mm. A wharfinger told us that Captain Nearchus supervised the loading of the Sophie Anderson personally and even sat on the crates at night to keep guard. Can I write that down, please? 
Okay, Niarchos. She's getting the Niarchos spelling. She doesn't know how to spell Niarchos. Yeah. It's probably not how you say Niarchos either, but he... It, it looks close. Captain of the ship, help with, like, ob- observing the loading, I imagine, would be rare. I imagine he has you're the captain. For that. You, yeah, he's got people for that. First mates and bosuns and whatnot. So he's something about that cargo, and he stayed overnight, sat on the crates. That's weird. Mm. Obviously something nefarious. Something in those crates. But I feel that that does not steer us away from our next port of call at Lloyd's. Right? No. Yeah, bank. Bank. Let's go to the bank. Come to the bank with us, will you? Um, have you solved it already? We have not. Well, we're going to the banks. Just, you know, just, yeah, he can't stretch. Is the bank? It's up there by Scotland Yard. Obviously. 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 Um, and Bank Arena is 956. 956. Let's head on down. Get your kicks at 956. <laughs> the manager of the bank, presumably, told us that Captain Narcos had withdrawn all his savings Ooh. last month no less all his savings wow. from the bank his family came first why did he take all his savings what's his wife gonna live off <gasps> she's not in london he well his, he's he took he's, his family with him they were in the crates maybe they're in the crates he stuffed wife and kiddos and the cat fluff bowl in the crates He's taken them along. You can't. Surely. This is 1887. Yeah, she doesn't have, like... Poke some holes, they'll breathe. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't have, like, an ATM card to yeah. use while he's withdrawn all the money from the bank. No, she's haven't yeah. got, she hasn't got... Wait, any... did it say that he's a family man? Yeah, it said only the family he's came before... Only family came before the company. Ah. Okay. Right? And she hasn't got an OnlyFans to support herself while he's gone. He's taken all the money <laughs> from the bank and buggered right off. So. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he's Greek. They're probably going back. <gasps> That's true. I thought you were going to say something totally I racist. was not going to say anything he's racist. Greek, so, you know. Um, no, so no, they're probably home. going yeah. home. But, mm. but why would they have to sneak out? Why can't they just go home? Maybe it's something else in the clues, you know, because he's Greek, right? And what's Watson banging on about? Bulgarian crisis, Turkish massacres in Macedonia. <gasps> That's not Greece, but it's close. Yeah. Um, murder of the French. Maybe Watson was onto something else with his newspapers. Yeah. Maybe after the so Boar's Head, we head over to the news agents. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, actually. Let's go to the Boar's Head, see what's what. I promise next video we're going to swap these chairs out. Oh, my God. That's a noise. All right. Boar's Head. 1,006. 1,006. I hear mm. that Stevie Nicks has turned 1,006 this day. Happy birthday, Stevie. <laughs> Looks great for her age, though. Oh, <laughs> done she. Um, 1,006. The rumours sweeping the pub were twofold. Some spoke of sea monsters... Others of strange cargo. Yeah, well, we knew that. Right, so the cargo's strange. Sea monsters. Maybe they're hearing weird noises. Maybe there's no- because there's people in the crates. People? Or some other strange animal. <sighs> no, I was going to say let's go to the zoo. There isn't a zoo at this. No, there's a pack. <laughs> Um, no, we're going to the news agent, though. All right, news agents. You've heard the call. I hope you agree with the call because, as you know, there's no change in the mind once she's made the call. So, you're coming along with us? Have you got it yet? Probably. We're brisking through this, eh? Hey? We'll probably have to go to every single... Shh. No, I reckon two more and we've got it. Master detectives. Sure. I've got the beard now. Um, master detectives is not a location. Where are we? News agent. <laughs> news agent. 921. 921. Where we have all our fun at 9.21. His next gig is drag bingo. (laughs) 
Ah, I've done the hair for it. Oh, well, that's oh. what a wig is for. Okay, okay. <laughs> you tell me. Um, 921. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's Holmes's voice. Sorry, I thought I was going to get to do a voice. Have you noticed in the Times, Watson, that the carcass of a giant squid was washed ashore in Normandy three days ago? Is that a giant squid? Sea monsters. Sea monsters. Maybe, alright, just maybe Nyakos is opening up his own Greek seafood restaurant <laughs> back in Macedon and he's packed himself some albeit ambitious calamari, some, you know, giant squid in the box, in the wooden box. He was afraid I'd be racist. <laughs> Seafood <laughs> is every food. Um, sorry, so wasn't the ship going to France? I don't know that we had its destination. Yeah, yeah. Where's it um, supposed to be going? Bound out of London. Yeah, since it's the Well, it was supposed to call ports along Brittany and Spanish coast. Yeah. Brittany is um is France. Yeah, North and, France. And um, you have a giant squid washing up in Normandy, France, as well. Oh, well, that would be right on Brittany, wouldn't it? So it was supposed to get there, but it was a giant squid by the time it got there. Well, there's been sea monsters and strange cargo, so he's... What did giant squids eat? Turmoil and disaster. There was something tasty on there. Turkish massacres, murder at the French embassy. Murder at the French embassy. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're all connected. It's mm. we need the we need the board with all so, the strings. It's all connected. Yeah, but definitely, I think it was heading to France. There's so many things that are pointing to it. Right, and if we know anything about France, the they love chemicals, chemist France. No. Let's this resist. is this is where we start to diverge from the people watching. I um, think you know. Ed, left? Edit that person. Ed, edit that one out. Chemicals, <laughs> chemicals, French carriage death. No. French. Um. If Park, any. Park French. No. Ooh, hotel. Okay. Hotel. Mm. Is the family is going with, but maybe they stayed at the hotel before. Well, they're not from there. there. Maybe. Maybe they didn't live here. All right. All right. This is this number four. This is five. Oh, this is it. Master Detectives in one more stop. I mean, if they were trying to get something out, then maybe the pawnbrokers. Pawning stuff? Yeah, maybe. Pawning stuff if he's emptied his bank account. Yeah. Oh, it's a coin toss at the moment. Um, I'm guessing the chemist is out. Nobody liked my chemist idea? Okay, no. fair enough. Um, hotel or pawnbroker? Pawnbroker. Pawnbroker. All right, we're going to pawnbrokers. Pawn Brokers 885. Jimmy and Jive. It's 885. Cargo Clue. Mm -hmm. That's the first one that's been a direct clue. Oh, shite. <coughs> I'm going to do my best. Remember, remember. The 5th of November. So, Guy Fox? Gunpowder. <sighs> Camp crates are full of gunpowder. Which is yeah. taking to somewhere because of the Macedonian massacre in Tais. It's gone off to join the war. The gunpowder treason plot. So, Mark Watson said at the start, oh, there's going to be an explosion. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. There is going to be an explosion. The dude packed his ship with gunpowder to go off to the war to fight with the Greeks against the Turks or the Macedonians against the Turks. The ship blew up along the way because of a giant squid attack. No oh, makes sense. So you case solved. No. Um, why didn't she, So she didn't make her because she blew up. Where was she headed? No. Um. Why she didn't make the she's, port of calls? She was up. never. She was never going to those port of calls. 
She was never going to Britney. No, 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 no. Well, why didn't she? What does it say? Why didn't she? Why did she not make her scheduled calls? She was never planning she... on going there. They never. He never planned on going to those scheduled places. He might have gone to those scheduled places. No. But he blew up. No, but that's what what happened to her. So oh, she. Right, 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 so right. I think she. He never planned on going to those places. It was all a ruse. Where was she headed? To Turkey or Macedonia or something? Mm. Bulgaria, Crisis? Mm. I think that we haven't fully solved it. Do you reckon we're not going to go for the solve? I think that oh. we can go to the chemist now. What the hell's going on here? Coppers, missing ship, crises. Mm. True. Uh, well, you are you do have a point, though. Well, Gun murder, murder, murder at the French embassy. Murder at the French embassy. Scott Scott your heart. Sorry, everyone who wanted to be a master detective. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have you done? Oh, you're, you're moving the whole board. <laughs> Camera <laughs> angles ruined. What have happened to our show? People are going to think we're amateurs. We, we are. People we are going super to make a distinct are. impression that this is an amateurish operation. Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard. Um, Scotland Yard, 965. 965 is alive. Johnny, it's alive. It's 965. Okay. 965. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. The Strat. Mm. Hello, hello. Any ship sailing in the Bay of Biscay runs a risk. Not even you, Mr. Holmes, can solve a non-existent mystery, said Lestrade smugly. S sounds awfully like a non-clue. Thank you, Lestrade, for nothing as usual. Which number was it? Um, 965. Biscay. Biscay. Bay of Biscay. Um, Talking about Biscay. Biscay. I don't know even All right. Bay of Biscay. Thanks. Thanks, champ. All right. So he thinks it's just run aground. Well, we think it blew up. Yeah. I think we're onto something more than Lestrade is. No joke. <sighs> okay. All well, right. I mean, how many clues uh, and, until we... Eight. Eight. So we're so on six. One, two, three, we have four, two five, more six. to okay. solve the whole kit and caboodle. So, um, tobacconist gunpowder or chemist gunpowder? Gunpowder, chemist, I reckon. Okay. Right. Chemist. Let's do it. Off to the chemist. Hope you're still with us. Have you got your notes written down? Did you already solve it? Solved it and they're shouting at the TV right now. They're such idiots. Chemist. Chemist. 10.49. 10.49. I think I'll have a wine. It's 10.49. Oof. Here we go. This could be dangerous. My husband seemed very preoccupied of late, sobbed Miss Niarchos. This is Miss. That was presumptuous. Well, I can see him now, sitting, dozing in his armchair, pipe in his hand. He doesn't seem preoccupied. He's suffering around on his couch, smoking a pipe. I'm thinking the tobacconist, though. Hey? Yeah, but that, that, you know, what we were saying, that he was hiding his family. He's definitely not, obviously. No, he's, he's been interviewed. Yeah. Um, so the family has stayed behind. Um, family stayed behind with an empty bank account. He's buggered off. Yeah. No intention to come back. Ship full of gunpowder. Yeah. Plot. So, you know, hotel for overseas people, um, the carriage works for transportation. Somebody might have spotted him mm -hmm. transporting mm -hmm. this cargo. Um, Just mean we got one left before we... Yeah, I kind of want to do carriage works. I'm going. You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen, and I put this foot down. Yeah. We are following precious Miss Nyarkos' clue and going to the tobacconist. So the tobacconist. Smoking his pipe. Smoking his pipe. She wasn't even listening to you. It's only you that listens to me. Listeners, she's off on her own world. Let's check out the tobacconist, eh? Um, we played this not 
long ago with some friends of ours who literally played the game just where they want they where they would go on a Saturday night. It didn't matter what the case was or clues were. Let's go to the tobacconist and then go to the pub and then go to the hotel. Um, and <laughs> sometimes it works for yeah. them. They cook exactly yeah. what they need. It. So play it how you like. Tobacconist, 908, 908. You're not going to help me on you're, this one? You're so late. You are so late. It's 908. Time to go on this. All right. Oh. Minecraft. Minecraft. Is it 908? I cannot divulge the government current concerns in the Balkans, said Minecraft Holmes. Initially, we recognise Turkish rule and oppose terrorism of any kind. So oppose terrorism and reject what? Recognise Turkish rule. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's the Turkish cross. It's the cross that's in the Balkans um, that they're talking about. So bringing gunpowder. Yeah. So, um, why didn't she make it? Because she wasn't going there. She was going to the war. Going off to the Balkans to supply um, terrorists where, with gunpowder. Yeah. What happened um, to her? She blew the air up somehow. Um, or it was just dangerous. It's just dangerous. <sighs> she sunk. Well, that, it's very boring. If that's the end of the case, I'm... Where was she headed? The Balkans, you think? Yeah, for sure. Just before this stuff blew up. All oh, right. I think we can solve it. You reckon? Yeah. Well, I'm not so happy with that. We have one more. Where would you like to go? I could do without being a... I could go with just a detective. I would like... I'd like to have a win on our hands. I think we've lost enough of these cases. Um, so carriage work? Carriage depot? One more each. Carriage works, and then I get to go to... The hotel. How's that? Mm, okay. Yeah? Sure. Carriage works. Carriage works. Sorry if you've solved it. Write down your things, and we'll see if you were a master detective or a sleuth. Okay? You're better than us, all right. Um, carriage. Carriage Depot. We keep calling it Carriage Place. <laughs> it's not Sydney. Carriage Depot is 933. Let's have a look-see. 933. Oh, my God. This was your one. That's fine. Have you stopped to consider why the Balkans are known as the powder keg of Europe, Watson. It's not helpful. Homes. I mean, it... it no, no, clue, clue. But it does. It's it's supporting what we already said. I know, but we're... So we can agent. solve it. You said I could go to Fine. the hotel if you went to the carriage room. We're going to the hotel. Going to the hotel. This is where we find out that Moriarty was behind the whole thing and we were nowhere near correct. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, hotel. 947, 947, get your key to heaven, 947. Hold on, no, no, I'm reading the wrong one. Oh, you almost got me, you almost got me. Captain Niarchos has been born in Macedonia and had come to England many years previously, leaving all his relatives behind. Oh, my God, let's just solve the damn I thing. told you to solve it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. It seems like such such a given story. We could have had that in Master Detective. He's we gone have... to the Balkans because the crises were all connected. I think the only thing that we were missing was the gun gun. Yeah. And, like, that, that's it. Yeah. Did his shit blow up? And actually blow up a giant squid, and the squid is it's on the shore, and because he blew it up with all of his gunpowder, I reckon the squid has attacked the ship. The ship's run aground, boom, 
everything's gone up in smoke because he was headed to the Balkans. He didn't make his port of calls because he was never going there in the first place. He's going yeah. off to the Balkans. Well, All right. He's going off to war to so, support Macedonia. A. He's going off to war to support Macedonia. That's why they didn't make the scheduled calls. Where she was heading. Balkans. Balkans. What happened to her? She blew the... Or sunk. I mean, that was Same. that would have happened. It implied. After it implied. <laughs> <laughs> Hedging our bets right at the end. Right at the end. Day. So confident we could solve it, and yet, or sunk. She chucks in there. <laughs> All right. Case number 73. Oh. Get your wine. Could be metal. No. It's going to be broadly open to interpretation. Okay. Let's read out the case. See how you did. See how we did. Ladies and gents, case number 73, Sherlock Holmes and the Sophie Anderson. I have teased you, Watson, with my talk of sea monsters, for we have here a tale of human courage and of human frailty. Narcos was a patriot who had been forced to flee the Turkish repression of his homeland, yet he never gave up the dream of returning to fight the hated tyrant. He worked and saved a sum of money which he used to buy guns and powder to take to his freedom fighters of Macedonia. Is that in the Balkans? It's pretty close. We were pretty close. The Sophie Anderson set sail and was last sighted on November 5th. Hence my reference to gunpowder. Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes you shut. Two clues led me to my conclusion regarding the fate of the ship. Recall that Neocus's wife told how he often fell asleep with his pipe still smouldering. Then the witness at the docks, who said the captain sat guard over his cargo. Oh, damn. We were so close. What do you mean? I haven't seen anything that we've messed up yet. You've seen it though, right? You've seen it though. His wife said he fell asleep with his pipe. He sat guard over crates of gunpowder. You know where this is going. It does not take a genius to deduce that Nearchos sat guarding his precious cargo fell asleep and dropped his pipe amidst the gunpowder, starting a blaze which ended with the ship blowing up. Well, no, we still got it. She blew up. No, but we missed the pipe <laughs> connection that he was the, we thought it was the sea monster that made it blow up. No, you thought I, that. Yeah, see how she disavows her team <laughs> captain for seconds that there's any trouble. If this happened in dense fog, who would see the incident? The storm, which also broke on the 5th, would prevent anyone hearing the explosion. A sad end to a gallant idealist, yet he was a fanatic. And all fanatics are dangerous, even if only to themselves. Yeah. Why did the ship make her calls? Because she was not going to Brittany and Spain. She was running guns and powder to fight the Turks. Where was she heading? Macedonia. What happened exploded due to Nyarkos's lack of caution with his pipe. I mean, solid two for three. Solid two. We got an explosion. So two and a half. Yeah, I mean, we have to actually need to find out if the Balkans are in Macedonia. We do need to find out if the Balkans are in Macedonia. Do you know? So if the Balkans... Pause. If, well, the Balkans are in Macedonia. You mean Macedonia in the Balkans, other way. <laughs> we don't have an atlas. Um, and our phones are currently in use recording this episode. So we're going to close it out here, presuming, of course, that you know, obviously, Macedonia is in the Balkans. In that case, we are two and a half, I'm saying, out of three, clear winners. Clear detectives. 
and I know you I, like I think we're winners. Oh, yeah, we, we got explosion. It says in the rules. I said she blew up. Yeah. I wrote that down. Yeah, you did. It's evidence. Evidence. Look at it. She wrote just that down. Just because in your mind you had a different monologue doesn't mean that I had a I had a, I just thought it blew up. <laughs> <laughs> bickering over the prize begins. <laughs> I hope your home life is less storm, stormy seas than ours. <laughs> hey? As we enjoy our apple juice and get ready for the next case, case number 74, which is... Shut Sherlock your Holmes. mouth and say no more. <laughs> this one. This one. Mr. Colley. Um... Ben Kilquister, okay? Um, I'm not your puppet. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes and the Swiss Cheese. I kid you not, that is the name of case number 74. I right? bet you will be able to poke holes in it. <laughs> Cut to Karen. Cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. Let's find out where the Balkans is and where Macedonia is. Bye. Bye.